Hi, how are you today? It is Wednesday. Just got off Google Meet with many of our friends. It was so nice to see so many of you. Um, every Wednesday, we're there, 1215. Today, we talked about if we'd rather be a wizard or a superhero. Hmm. Some very interesting wizardry things people wanted to do. So, all right, here we go. Diamond Daniel, make way for Diamond Daniel. Chapter two, Lonely Girl. Can you see the, there we go, the two. Here's Diamond Daniel up here in her apartment, lonely. Diamond was happy to go home that afternoon. The next day was Saturday, which meant no rude boy. And no feeling lonely in the schoolyard. Plus, on Saturdays, she could sleep as late as she wanted. And she might as well. She didn't have anything else to do these days. Well, she had homework. But that didn't count. She always had homework. Diamond turned the key in the front door of her apartment building. She was supposed to go straight to her neighbors on the second floor and wait there till her mom came home from work. Instead, she slipped into the tiny apartment she shared with her mom, dropped her books on the couch, and grabbed her favorite photo album from the bookshelf. Where is it? Thought Diamond, flipping the pages. There. She turned to a page of pictures of herself with her best friend, Alicia. Her old best friend, the one Diamond had to leave behind in Brooklyn, New York, when her parents got divorced and her mom moved them to this new place in Washington Heights, New York. Diamond sighed. <sighs> More subtraction, her least favorite kind of math. In the old days, Alicia had been part of Diamond's cozy foursome. Herself, her mom, her dad, plus Alicia made four. I miss you, Diamond said. To the girl in the photo. She missed her dad too in their old apartment and where she had her own room. Here she had to sleep on a pull-out sofa. Have you ever slept on a pull-out couch where you take the cushions off? Sofa is another word for uh, couch. Take the cushions off and then there's a like a spring and a handle and you pull it out and unfolds a bed. It's the coolest thing. They're not usually very comfortable but they're fun to sleep on. Got to find my place here. And at their old apartment where she had her own room, here she had to sleep on a pull-out sofa. It wasn't half bad, she guessed. It was plenty roomy, enough for her to stretch out on, even sideways. Plus, her mom had offered her the bedroom, but Diamond had said no. She fig figured moms should have their own bedrooms. Even so, it was nice having a bedroom with your own desk and stuff. Diamond sighed a second time. Truth is, she missed a lot of things. Not that her new neighborhood was boring or anything. 147th Street and Amsterdam Avenue was pretty much bursting with life. There was the House of Beauty where the ladies got their hair curled and colored. There was Hare's, Hal's Hair Shack where the men went for haircuts. There was a laundromat for folks who didn't have washing machines in their basements and a bunch of different restaurants. Some sold restaurant Chinese takeout, some sold fried chicken, and some sold nothing but barbecue. There was a great candy store, a newspaper stand, and a flower stand. And as far as Diamond could see, the neighborhood just about had everything you would ever want. Sure, it is nothing like the quiet old neighborhood we used to live in, thought Diamond. The Brooklyn Brownstones had been nice enough but they were mostly filled with old people on Diamond's block. This new neighborhood was alive like Diamond. The avenue was always busy with all kinds of people coming and going. Diamond figured if she sat perfectly still on her stoop or stared out her window long enough, the whole world would pass by. Okay. Um, I'm just looking here. Let's see where that's be. I think we'll read the rest of this page and we'll stop here. There were ladies in crisp nurses' uniforms catching the uptown bus to Columbia Presby Presbyterian Hospital, men and ladies in suit jackets catching the bus to fancy offices downtown.
There were kids like Diamond playing stickball or handball against a building or walking to school like Diamond did every day. The avenue suited Diamond just fine. Still, that didn't keep her from missing the friends she left behind in Brooklyn. What she did not miss were the loud fights her mom and dad had been having the last few years, though. Them not living together was definitely better. Okay, so we're going to stop there because remember I said um, the chapters tend to be a little bit long. This is a good place for us to stop and do our comparison and contrast, okay? So we're comparing Diamond Daniel with India Opal, and we have decided some things they compare and have alike are um, they're both new to town and they have no friends. One thing that's contrasting that's different is that just Diamond Daniel lives with her mom. And we wrote in here that Opal can trust because Opal lives with her dad. So the things I wrote today that I want us to think about are that rude boys. They have to deal with some rude boys. Is that true for just Diamond Daniel, just India Opal, or both? Think about that for a second. They're feeling lonely. Is that true of just Diamond Daniel? Just in the Opal or both lives in Florida. The setting of the story. Is that true for both? Is the setting in Florida? Or is it just for Diamond Daniel? Or is it just for India Opal? What do you think? Okay, let me uncap my markers. Remember, blue is contrast, how they're different. So if we were doing that Venn diagram in the classroom, it'd be that outside part. Compare is where they come together and they're the same. If we were doing that Venn diagram, it would be where those circles cross over, all right? And we're going to do those in green. So rude boys. Well, we know Diamond Daniel has a rude boy. In fact, she calls him rude boy. Did India Opal have any rude boys she had to, had to deal with? So think in your head, should I be getting my green? Because that's the same. They compare. Or am I getting my blue? It's contrast. It's different. I'm getting my green. Both. In both stories, our main characters have those rude boys who are those challengers. Remember we learned about challengers in books when we read India Opal? And we read that a challenger. Do you remember who the challengers were to India Opal? Do you remember the Dewberry boys? They were very rude to her in the beginning. That changed as the story went on. I wonder if Free will change as well and won't be a challenger. We'll have to see. All right, Lonely. Lonely. So is Lonely true for both girls? Should I mark that with my green? Or is Lonely true for just one? It's a contrast. Think about that. Okay. Lonely is true for both. It's how they compare. In fact, one of the themes that we saw throughout um, Winn-Dixie and with Indy Opal was loneliness. It was a theme in the story that we saw throughout the story. She didn't have any friends and it made her feel lonely and how she dealt with that loneliness. All right, lives in Florida, the setting of the story. We heard today Diamond Daniel is talking a lot about the setting of the story. She really sets up where she's living. Does she live in Florida? Or does just Opal live in Florida? Should I get my green or my blue? What do you think? Getting my blue. That's a contrast. The settings of the story are very different. India Opal lives in Florida. We live in Ohio, so that's like south east for us. Um, Diamond Daniel, she lives in Brooklyn, New York. So that is in New York City, uh, right near New York, New York City, or in the state of New York. And that from Ohio, we would go northeast up the other direction. All right. If you're not really sure where those are at, look up a map and see where Ohio is in comparison to New York and Florida. All right. All right. It was so nice to see so many of you today on our Google Meet. I hope to see more of you next Wednesday. Have a super fantastic day. Get your work done. 
I'm seeing lots of great work coming in this week. I have a few of you that really haven't handed anything in yet. So get busy. Got lots to do. All right. I'm off to take cash for his daily walk. I'm going to take him to Hinkley today. All right. Bye-bye. I miss you. See you soon.